on a PS2 soon. Although for these characters in particular, I wonder. Because like Battlefield and like the triplets can be both good and bad for both of them. It's that double-edged sort of, yeah, my character gets crazy confirms here. Oh shoot, your character gets confirms here. Alright. Media round start. Right now it looks like X is the first one to get the big combo starter going. He's not able to get the platform follow-up. 48% and the immediate grab on the ledge cannon. Ooh, that up air just perfectly timed. Nope, no free down air yet. I'm not using the stock that early. Even though the game just started, your man's ain't autopilot. He's not just gonna sit there and let you do whatever you want. He's still ready to react to whatever options you have. I like the fade back after that near. He kind of recognized because he did rising there immediately out of shield. He recognized, like, I'm not gonna get a, a follow up off of this. So let me fade back and avoid whatever reversal he might have. It's a great way to keep his advantage up. But as he goes in for the immediate, it's like a run and grab, just the raw F smash, that understanding the aggression is coming. He then tries to pay it back and guy and does his own. Well, we're seeing kind of similar to the weakness that was exploiting against Jimmy against X here, just now oh, if Falco's in the corner, if he's off stage, you kind of force him to have to commit to a movement option. And you can kind of get a feeling for when Falco's going to be. If you've played in the Snuff Falcos, you kind of know the areas they want to do it, and you can just be ready to respond to it appropriately. It's a positioning thing, and Humans has that unlock. Right. Even stocks and fairly low percent. We're kind of seeing which one gets the start of the game. Just gets the first hit and kind of stuffs out these like attempted approaches with the flicker. I like the reset there after the up tilt, kind of recognizing I don't really have the platforms to extend, but maybe depending on catching the drift, I can get something better. And the illusion there to catch the tech in place. There we get it. Oh, but there's the new man's advantage. The entire time you're spending all that effort, he gets the one hit, and cool, you had to guess like three times right, or set up certain situations to get like 40. I guessed once and converted it into the stop. That, that's the human. Ooh, sour F tilt. Yeesh. That's not what he wants right now. He does not want to have Mario in rage here. The immediate call on up smash. Not afraid of you, man's kind of bobbing and weaving, just recognizing now nah, you're in my airspace. Ooh, throw F smash. Yeesh. Damn, I got the spike hitbox from there still. Before there, after the upper day, and like, oh, confirm at like 60 something. You man still has that advantage on walk. Character that's crazy. Stop the battle! Alto Mario! And we're running it straight back. Which I respect. Like, Three, X clearly one, showed that he go. had the skill down there for, like, how to approach this. He was getting good damage off his confirmed skill. And he had, like, the right call out options. Which is gonna come down to, like, he needs to find a way to lead into his win condition. Because you man's his win condition is just existing. He will convert anything to a stop. We'll have to see if X can find a way to turn what is his raw damage into something a little bit better. Because every hit that you have that doesn't take you man's stock is a chance for him to pay it back. Ooh, going a little greedy there with the attempt to grab after and then he's ready. But drifting a little too far out, not gonna get the F smash follow up, so the F guard. And dropping shield. The scramble there with the spot dodges, they're kind of moving around center stage. The throwback here. He man's awkwardly not at a high enough percent to avoid the laser yet. If you DI the way Falco is throwing you when he does up throw, you can actually like avoid the laser entirely. But usually you need to be at a higher percent because you need to actually go a decent distance from the throw. Great tech on the on the sour hit of down air. But he wasn't able to get the cape and then scramble after X is able to land two frame. First stop. How can he keep this going? The man's kind of bobbling even above him, so these anti-air up tilts are converting to a ton of damage. 71% the aggressive phantasm he wasn't ready for it. He was a little slow in his up smash. Not slow in the second one, though. Alright. Holding down this corner pressure here at the ledge. Stopping the attempted spike. And stopping the two-frame attempt. It was a little too early. Swinging these back airs for the hills. The up tilt kind of catches it. 
who didn't believe in that confirmed you needed spot dodge. X is kind of like, I want to say that's a panicking thing, but that's showing that you were not confident in your confirms, and humans is the exact opposite. He just knew exactly what to do with that and gets the DI cross up. A cape into the reflect, but he's not able to get the second reflect. It looked like he was waiting for a phantasm, so that was a really good patience on X's part. Ooh, but this is bad. Oh, he's not able to get it right. It looked like he either missed up the trunk or tried to do that. It's just a fast turnaround to get like a forward air. But either way, you mince drops the edge guard. In direction for the up smash. It's not gonna scoop there. It's a swing for the hills. He wants this stock gone. Back here into the up B, and just with all of those multi hits, timing that tag is gonna be really tricky. Great use of the extension and recognizing, oh, I've got the extra stock. You're not ready for this. I will just convert all of this. Great advantage for that. One point away from winners' finals. Stock battle, Alto Mario. We're kind of just seeing shades of like New Man's standard play here, with just every hit he gets, he converts into so much. Even if it doesn't end up being damage, when it matters most, he gets the stock just so consistent. So even though X has all that crazy combo going, the percents are even, which honestly is a bad sign. The earlier games looked like X was getting the damage lead, but now Human is out here with the damage lead and the stock lead to go with it. So it's just to find like some opening fast. Something in Newman's movement, something in like the way he times his aggression or the way he extends. You gotta find some opening and exploit it. Right now, Newman's kind of doing the show. A little antsy with the down smash. He's kind of caught on <laughs> that in these scramble situations, X swing for the swings for the hills. So if he just leaves a little further back, he can get an even more consistent whip punishes. He's barely touched on the stock. Ooh, kind of trading the sour up. He, he did the beefy up B to avoid holding ledge, trying to hit him away, but it leads to a trade, which forced him to lose the stock because he has to jump. That thing to just fade back. And now he's kind of going for big hits too. He's going for big columns. He's kind of trying to like take a ton of momentum, which is honestly fair. If you got this big of a lead, going for these kind of big plays and trying to throw your opponent off guard isn't a bad play. Because, like, the entirety of this past set, New Man's has been, like, jumping around, bobbing and weaving, abusing his mobility. Now he's swinging for the hills, and it's like, shoot, now what do I do? He, he was already winning, and he changed up his gameplay. Now how do I adapt? He doesn't look like I actually have an answer at the moment. He's back here, trying to find their way through the wall of forward airs. Just sits there holding shield. He's waiting for something. And even in spite of all that, X just lands on it. Not able to get the follow up there. Missing the tech there. Getting the follow phantasm, but not a stock yet. Even the drop cape to kind of jump up backwards, but didn't really get anything off of it. I don't know if you wanted to do like a back air to like counter the aggression at ledge. Yo, this is looking messy. It's do or die now for X. Not able to get the tech. Newman misses the back air. He misses the forward air after. That sends at a really harsh angle. He will hog the landing forward airs. He doesn't get the follow up forward air of his own. He's kind of getting these big openings, but he's not converting off of them. Rob Smash barely doesn't kill yet, but he lands right on him. Pulls him off stage. He avoids the grab. Perfectly timed to get up spot dock. In the middle of all that scramble, he manages his timing just a little bit off and it costs him the game right when it matters most. Even though X wasn't really able to like capitalize off of like a handful of openings, he was able to just kind of force these scrambles so much. And we finally get something on him, get a point on the board. Game 4, running it right back. I don't think we're expecting any stage change. It's very clear like this is coming down to player skill instead. I think going for a stage change here would be changing a ton of variables, and from what we've seen already, I can kind of see why like Newman's doesn't want that, because he's already just confident in his play. And I can see why X doesn't want that, because we're already seeing little bits of here and there of how he has to like kind of adapt already. He's on the back foot for adapting. 
so adding in a whole nother set of variables might be too risky. Lin is getting like, even with all these techs in place, it looks like these are getting really consistent phantasm follow-ups. I'm almost wondering if like there's a different tech option that might cover it, but he doesn't want to tech in because he was teching in the Falco. <sighs> Bad recovery angle. And a pineapple himself. SDing at 100 isn't the worst because you're already at a high percent, but you never want to SD anyway. There's a tomahawk up tilt, kind of forces a trade and he's able to follow up off of it. Didn't cross up with that type B. He's kind of fading back. He wants to make, take full advantage of his mobility here. He's to get up some ledge option. He's able to spike the air dodge. He was perfectly ready for it. Like, already just had the hop ready. He's going full well what you meant wanted to go for there. He's the eye there. He's able to get the cape again. And get three stocks to one on match point. How far can he take his advantage? It doesn't look like it very far because he immediately steals it back and then calls out the reversal attempts of landing neutral air with two up smashes in a row. He kind of just has his aggression on lock. And right as I'm saying that, he fades back slightly with that up air, knowing Cole's like, okay, if you're gonna do something on the field. A spot dodge is a grab, it ain't jump. And he's blowing that right up with a tipper F smash stock at like 70 for the game.